G'day folks and welcome to a new video. Uh, today we'll talk about death adders and since I'm back home in Norway it's been a while since I've posted a new video because it's hard for me to get a hold of Australian snakes to do shots with and everything. Um, but it's nothing short of a miracle that I get to do death adders now because a 50 year old ban on venomous snakes have been lifted. And we now uh, are allowed to keep venomous snakes in zoos, or at least one zoo got the permit, and they decided to keep death adders. So we'll go ahead and look at those and talk a bit about them. So as mentioned earlier, we are talking about death adders today. And the two species we are going to focus on are the northern death adder, which is Acanthophis prelongius, and the common death adder, which these two are, and their scientific name is Acanthophis antarcticus. As I mentioned, it's a bit of a, bit of a miracle for me to actually film these guys in Norway, as this 50-year-old ban was lifted, and these two uh, Antarcticus are kept in a little zoo outside Riesur in southern Norway. Uh, the zoo is called the Lille Dyrhagen, or directly translated the little zoo and it's this amazing place with a big greenhouse uh, with a planted jungle in and most of the animals are free not the venomous snakes um, but yeah if you have the chance to go visit it's good uh, so back to the death adders uh, we're actually going to talk about two species today and that's mostly because Townsville is a bit of an intermediate zone between those two species so you have the Northern Death Adder from Townsville and North, and then you have this uh, the uh, Common Death Adder from about Townsville and South. So it's a bit of an intermediate zone there. Um, the Northern Death Adder occurs from from about Townsville and all the way up to the very tip of Australia, and uh, they occur in quite a few different habitats. Everything from uh, well rainforest. Uh, and down to a bit more wet sclerophyll, you can find them in quite rigid habitats. The common death adder, on the other hand, has a quite large distribution, thus the name the common death adder. So this snake occurs from about uh, Cairns and Cooktown up north and all the way down south following the east coast. It also has quite a large distribution inland in both uh, Queensland and New South Wales. And then there's a bit of a gap in the distribution from northern uh, South Australia and over to Adelaide. And from Adelaide, it continues along the southern coast uh, almost all the way to Perth. And then there's a bit of a gap and there's an isolated population around the city of Perth in Western Australia. So with such a large distribution, it is quite obvious that this snake can utilize quite a few different habitats. And you can basically find them in anything from quite uh, humid and, and wet forests and almost into deserts. As some of you smart fellows out there have noticed from the introduction, we have at least two death adder species in Australia. In fact, there's a total of seven death adder species distributed across Australia. So basically anywhere you are in Australia, you have the possibility to see a death adder. Uh, there's also one more death adder species that is not on mainland Australia. It is actually found on Papua New Guinea and the surrounding islands. All of these snake species, all the death adder species, are highly neurotoxic. So a bite from this species can prove to be fatal. Which is um, quite unfortunate, especially uh, in combination with their excellent camouflage. This is a snake species that trusts its camouflage 100%. So it will not uh, hiss, it will not uh, make you notice its presence, and it will usually hide among the leaves uh, in ambush, waiting for unsuspecting prey, and uh, us humans walking around in flip-flops, or, or for you Aussies out there, thongs, um, we might step on this snake, um, while it's underneath leaves and if a snake is stepped on it will take that as an attack by a predator and it will defend itself and this means biting which can result in a fatal bite so death adders in general are quite fat stocky snakes made for ambush hunting these elapids have taken over the ecological niche that vipers such as rattlesnakes and well adders 
occupying other parts of the world, and thus have evolved similar body shape to these snakes. Death adders have a rather large and stripy body with keeled scales. Their color is usually a light uh, and dark brown to gray, with often a light colored lip and darker head. These snakes also has a different uh, color on their tail, with, which they use for cordial luring. Cordial luring means to lure in prey by moving their tail rhythmically. This is something that quite a few vipers actually have, and the death adder as well. Uh, they grow up to roughly 60 to 70 centimeters in the Townsville region. That would be a rather big death adder. But further south, these snakes can reach up towards a meter long. I think the longest measured was a meter 20, which is a massive death adder. There are very few snakes uh, death is can look like um, in terms of, of body shape, but there's quite a few that has the same color. Uh, the snake that they might look alike are, for instance, keelbacks, as some can be quite striped, but they're again too, way too skinny um, to to uh, be a death adder. Brown tree snakes is another one that is another species that is banded, but they are way too skinny as well. Uh, black-headed pythons might look like deathies too, but their scales are too small and their heads uh, are, you know, black-colored. Uh, and they're also skinnier than deathies. Um, a species that actually might look like a death adder, where I've almost mistaken uh, one for a death adder once, when I just saw a bit of the a bit of its scalation, is a, a skink, a skink species called a pink tongue skink, and these are quite large, round-bodied skinks uh, with long limbs that inhabit uh, rainforests and and wet sclerophyll forests. Uh, in the Townsville region. So they might look like death adders, uh, but if you see one walk with four legs, it's definitely not a death adder. Um, is there anything more to talk about? Yes, I mentioned in the Townsville region, they're by far the most numerous on Magnetic Islands or Maggie, and they're also quite regularly seen up towards Harvey Range. Uh, but it's generally not a common snake species to come across in Townsville. Um... Yeah, that was Deathies. Uh, I hope I can put out some more videos on, on Australian snakes. I hope to cover them all eventually. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab some uh, footage and videos from my good mates uh, down in Townsville. And I have to thank uh, Justin Wright, or Little Brown Skinks, as he's known here on YouTube, for uh, the footage that he provided of some, some death adders. So thank you. Um, and yeah. I hope you all see a deathy at a safe distance.